ladies and gentlemen, it's almost time for the return of Infamous, and we got so much to talk about here tonight. Let's break down what could be the greatest Infamous of all time, and we got some matches, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Our first match from the Overdrive brand is special because it's going to be inside of a unforgiving steel cage. Big Perk Mamba getting drafted from Rise to Overdrive. Looks to make a name for himself. But Ricky Jelani says, say it to my face. He definitely doesn't want to take a backseat to the new addition to the roster as Big Perk Mamba. We'll have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ricky Jelani after week in, week out. Ricky Jelani did not back down. If anything, he brought the fight to Mamba and now... To avoid any controversy, it's no escape. Pinfall, submission, Mamba taking on Ricky Jelani at Infamous. And also a very interesting Uprising Championship matchup for the World Heavyweight title of the Uprising brand. The newest star since arriving at the draft. So Rhea Giselle has really been taking taking closure on Friday nights as becoming the top star of the division. But Eve Stokes, still top of the world, still on top as the champion. Eve Stokes, known for breaking limbs, known for ending careers, and has beaten the best before. But Eve Stokes has never faced Soraya Giselle in this type of matchup. Anybody could win when it's all said and done for the uprising world championship and back on the rise brand we got the television title hanging up for grabs the tv championship is one of the most important titles in code of honors history and gerard bowden has been one of the best to hold that championship a fighting champion in his own right and king of the mountain but a tragic day in history is when lionel sua ripped that championship away from him was a thief in the night stole the title and use it as car blanche to get a match at infamous eddie reed had no other choice in the matter of the decision but to give lionel sua the matchup the contendership after he gave the belt successfully back to draw doubt it now that there's so much animosity who's gonna win when it's all said and done for one of the biggest prizes in our industry the television championship and one thing that I'm very excited about is for the first time ever, we're going to crown a new champion on the Rise brand. And it all begins at Infamous, and it's all about hard work and determination. The new championship, the Iron Stallion title. Definitely a workhorse championship for those who put in the work day in, day out. And they're going to have to put in the work because for the first time ever, we're going to have a Iron Derby matchup. Similar to matches in Infamous Pass, we got an Iron Derby matchup. 30 minutes will be on the clock. And only one man can walk out as the Iron Stallion champion. Now, who's in the match? Well, we got APH, a former world champion. Tone White, a decorated former 12-time world heavyweight champion. John Baker, definitely the underdog in this matchup, but an inspiration of a nation. Soul Taker. The most unpredictable, but yet the biggest threat in the matchup. And of course, the solo breed, H-O-H. -H. Do you believe the hype yet? Well, there is one man to be announced, and that we will find out when you do at Infamous. And of course, over on Overdrive, there has been a grudge match from last season. It just sparked up and ignited at WrestleCade, and now we need to find out who's indeed the better man. Will it be Chase Owens? Will it be Aiden Robinson? There's nowhere else to decide this one, but they will fight to the death for the very final time. It's the final battle between Chase Owens and Aiden Robinson. It will be a death match. And an open challenge happening for the new re-edition of the Intercontinental title. No longer the Divas Championship, but Corey Rose. Not ashamed of her Hollywood background with the Hollywood Exchange. She will have a mystery opponent 
but there's been a lot of drama in the dirt sheets, like TMZ, if you will. There's no telling who's going to be on her side. But who will be the challenger? We'll find out at Infamous. And here we go. The One of the hottest free agents, if not if, the hottest free agent on Thursday Night Rise. JTD will make his debut, but there's a man who does not want to take a back seat, not anymore. His name is Josh Wolf. He wants to be the next top star in Code of Honor. Ever since arriving in the draft, he has seen men come, men go, but Josh Wolf wants to make a huge mark on Rise. So he's the first man to face JTD in his official debut at Infamous. And we got a match that I did not expect. It all begun when John Baker II took on Two Twisted Merc in a qualifying matchup for the Iron Stallion Iron Derby match. Well, Jordan Brooks cost him the matchup. And it's all because of the draft where it was Two Twisted Merc versus Big Perk. And it spilled out of control out on the floor. It's come to this. Two Twisted Merc wanted this matchup. Jordan Brooks delivers. He's in. Two Twisted Merc is in. And now we got a dream match at Infamous. Two of the best here today will collide. And one for the United Kingdom. Infamous always showcased the best British talent we've ever seen. And this match is no different because for the first time ever, the great British championship will be up for grabs as Oliver Windsor. The greatest, the greatest great British champion will be taking on a man who's just as good on the canvas as a wrestler and one half of the tag team champions, Cutthroat Dave Henderson, not shy in his past of the infamous glory, looking to get another infamous moment, this time in a ultimate classic. The UK is split on this one. Make no bones about it, we will have a winner between these two. And for the Four Count Sapphire Championship, Tory Rex has really made a statement and will do anything necessary for her shot at the Four Count Sapphire Championship. But Amber Reed is the best bout machine and one of the reasons why that the Four Count Network has been thriving ever since. For the biggest title that can go across the brands of our pro fireball and ammo wrestling and of course here in coh it'll be up for grabs and the whole world will be watching as tori rex will take on amber Ree. and now a big world title match ryan swift after match of the year at wrestlecade against matt suda tanaka hollywood tanaka where does he go from here? Well, open challenges week in and week out. Ryan Swift, not only the hero of the people in India, but also a fighting champion and given opportunities that those that he deems that deserve it. And there's no man who deserves this more than a man who's never gotten a shot in the first place. A man with two consecutive wins over Lions and Tone White all in a month and a grind that we've only seen in our lifetimes, Kendrick Carter finally becomes number one contender. But does he have what it takes? Does Preppy have what it takes to become Overdrive World Champion? This will be a fun one to watch, no doubt about it. And now, undeniably the most important match in infamous history and could very well definitely tell the future of Rise going forward as Eddie Reed after winning ownership at Wrestle K10 against Daniel Lyons what does he do next well he puts himself in a title match he is now the number one contender he bought his way in and now he's looking to become world champion against one of the most dominating world champions we've seen in quite some time will Crude be able to open up a can of orange soda to get what he wants and to hold on 
to that World Heavyweight Championship, or will COH still be under mind, power, and control of Money Mafia and Eddie Reed? We don't know what to expect going forward after Infamous, but we know what to expect going in. This is the most stacked card we've ever seen. Top tier talent for top tier moments. Thank you for tonight, and we'll see you Thursday, June 29th for Infamous.